What's going on today, La Familia? <laughs> it's your brother, King K.O. But, and it's staying with another one. And we got them bleeders. Y'all already know, man. We got that man, Cold Bleeder. We got TG Fat. And we got that man, Dixie Boy Mike. As well as, y'all know the big general. That man, KG. My boy, Kevin Gates. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, before we get into that, Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon. Y'all know all that good stuff we talk about every day. You know, show your brother the love, man. That's all I'm saying, man. I I, I hate to have to constantly get on here and remind y'all of that. I know it get annoying, man. Y'all just be trying to get into the video. But you know, man, those are the things we need, man, to help progress. A lot of y'all hop on here. Y'all just watch the video and don't even pay no attention. But the thing is, that's very, very vital towards the success of the channel in the future, man. You know, just show your brother that love. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, Cope Bleeder put up this post, which was a heartfelt message towards True Bleeder, man. And that man Cliff, you know, two of his younger brothers, two of the people that he loved the most who passed away. As the first one states, what's understood ain't got to be explained. Little brother on sight anywhere that's on your soul. If I said I didn't miss you, I'd be lying with the broken heart. You know, he played the Kevin Gates plug cry too. Then sent this message towards Cliff, man, and said this. All Cliff wanted was 100 cash and to go see Johnny for his B-Day. I'm going to do that for you, little brother, with the broken heart emoji. So as you can see, man, you know, Cole Bleeder just reminiscing and whatnot. While also sending some shiggities at the opposition, letting it be known, you know, all of these that y'all been doing will not go unchecked, allegedly. Then he goes on to say, I lost some real dudes to some female dog dudes. The only reason I cried with the broken heart at True Bleeder, at Moneyway Cliff, at Mugatti, man. I know y'all remember when we reported on uh, when Mugatti passed away too, man. That was his partner as well, man. So... Yeah, you see, man, Cole Bleeder, man, he just going through it, man. You know, you could tell he one of them people that love real deep. And it's, it's boys to him, man, that's family to him. You know what I'm saying? Just like any of the rest of us, man. So he going through it real deep and sending jabs at the opposition and whatnot. That's expected in these situations, man. But uh, as long as he ain't disrespecting the deceased, all is fair, honestly, when it comes to the living. But he also went ahead and dropped this new little diss song, little shiggity at the opposition as well. As y'all can see, he sent a few shiggities, man. Let him be known. He knocking one of his opposition's cousins, so he got the drop on him or whatever. Man, y'all can't trust these broads, man, even when they family. Make sure that you stay clear of telling people where you lay your head, homie. Whenever you caught up in a situation, and even when you not, man, when you making a bag, you got some motion going on, steer clear and make sure you don't let these broads know where you lay your head unless, hey, and this is a real deep unless, unless that broad is your wife. If she ain't your wife, meet her at a hotel, go to her house. When you go to her house, pop up random times. Don't let her know. Don't let her know you coming. You know, don't let her be all on her phone. Don't let her do all that. Get in, get out. Do your issue and get up out of there, man. If she ain't your broad, if she ain't your wife, she should never know your low. And that's just what it is. Stop pillow talking to these broads. They wouldn't even know what situation you caught up into if you don't stop talking to them about issues or talking in front of them about issues. That ain't none of their business. All a broad is is like that telephone game you used to play when you was little. She gonna go back and whisper that to the next ear and it's gonna get to the right ear if she don't dump it on the right ear. You feel me? She gonna go tell her homegirl who that's her boyfriend or her homegirl sister that, you know, that's, hey, hey, it's gonna get around somehow. Stop doing all that pillow talking. That's how you get caught up in issues, man. You ain't gotta convince a broad of nothing and she don't believe you. Hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But when you stand up and you solid, they're gonna have to believe you. They're gonna be forced to. If they don't, 
you know, just keep it pushing. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and move on. And next up, we got that man, Dixie Boy Mike. And yeah, Dixie Boy Mike is that man, KJ, and that man, Hot Boy Do Partner. But they rock with the bleeders, man. So we just going to throw them in right here, man, where his people's at, man, where his homies is at. As he says, heard they finna terrorize the dark side, LOL. Tell them just don't be like that last dude and go blind. You know, sending a sending a shiggity at the opposition. But then, man, uh, man, hey, I'm gonna tell you, man. This touched my heart for the youngin', man. On the cool, and I and I always want these young brothers to know, man. You know, you always got somebody, man, to talk to, man. If y'all ever need to sit down and talk, y'all can always blast me, man. I'm always here. You feel me? But on the cool, man, he says this to his little brother that passed away. Nobody know the pain we went through together. All the A whoopings we caught together. I can count countless times we went to you know what in the dark in the rooms by ourselves because we want to fight your mama punish us every time and never fail. LOL. I remember you let me get crowded and got your A whooped behind. I remember all them nights we were starving. I remember all the times we fought over the game and I still let you get your way. I know you still Tom Brady fan this year. I'm mature with you and I hope he get the Super Bowl. I still remember all the old players on the New England Patriots because of you. I remember the night we ran away at 4 in the, oh, in the a.m. because you said your mama hated you. I remember we both got suspended because I brought you on Broadmoor campus and you was going to Southeast. I remember that A whooping right there. I wish we could catch an A whooping again, little brother. I promise I miss you. You really broke me. When I was in jail, I can't shake it, little bro. I'll never shake it. WTF, bro. This is my first time crying in five years writing this to you. Please come back, bro. I need you. I ain't even been able to focus. I've been feeling like a dude about to take me. Please watch over me, bro. I love you forever. Miss you, Sean King George. I'm not holding up that good, bro. How you let that happen? Why they took you? Who did it? Just please tell me, bro. I'm going to give up my freedom just to, you know what, um, bro. I promise I need you right now. Come back, dude. Your time ain't over. I remember all them long talks we had about each other. Pain, please come back. Lil' bro, I'm still going through that pain by myself now. What the F, dude? How did you let that happen for real, for real? Bro, just talk to me one more time. Please, big bro. You was always the big brother out of us. I remember all them times we played the games with each other. Please just let me know something, bro. I love you. You see, man, the youngin is hurting, man. And y'all see how many times he wrote him and said, I'm sorry I let you down. I really miss you so much, you know. Just continuously writing him, man, and uh, wishing for a response, man. You know, this, this, this traumatized him. And, like, this is the reality of the streets, man. And, and I just want to, I just want to say, you know, Keep your head up, young brother, and make him proud. You know, keep your head up, keep pushing, and make him proud. Taking somebody else's life is not going to make him proud. Seeing you locked behind bars is not going to make him proud. What's going to make him proud is you taking on your own legacy, creating your own family, you being happy in life, you honoring his name. That's what I had to realize from my little brother and my big brother that passed away. Like, that's what I had to learn. You got to be happy. That way, their sacrifice don't go in vain. Because at the end of the day, it's a sacrifice if it teaches you to become a better man. You feel me? But this is the reality of the streets, man. Ain't no do-overs. You only get one time to do this. So make sure that you do it right. But anyways, man, this that man, TG Fats, taking a little jab at the opposition and whatnot. Y'all can read it. And, uh... We got another little part, man. I want to explain it before I get up in here, man. And I'm going to leave y'all on this tip. But on the cool, man, we got that man Kevin Gates on live. And the reason why I'm adding this right here is, man, Kevin Gates consistently doing solid things, man. Uh, one of his peoples from his neighborhood, man, that he knew from back in the day. You know, young females and a uh, couple of his homies, man. Uh, he let it be known. He going to roll out the red carpet for them at his next concert because he ain't never going to turn his back on where he come from. And the people that he grew up with, man. So I thought this was 100. Wanted to share it with y'all. So y'all go ahead and check this out. He's right now. Not about to go to the gym. Uh, and Buck Joe. my dog. <laughs> Joe Buck. Yeah, that's my dog. 
partner. Yeah, I'm my dog. Hmm? DJ, so you, hey, hey, tell your wife. Hey, bro. say that. Hey, I'm about that, to 22 hey, pounds, and you better not tell me. Say that. D, some of that texture, though. You hear me? No. D, D, took the wrong last night on the live. We call him Wide Back. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she ain't because I'm fat, fat. Man, tell her to stop making me fat, fat, D. Yo, this. <laughs> Man, them people tripping in there. Dee, turn around. Hmm? Prop the phone up and turn around. <laughs> man, you always want to feel it, man. D, turn around. Come on. I showed you last night, man. They say it's Kevin Gates' voice for them. I told you. Uh, Gates put that voice on for him. And he gets up. <laughs> what boy? What is he talking about? <laughs> I'm thinking about coming to the concert. You know, hey. You know, I'm going to roll the red carpet off for you. D, they talking about you brushing your teeth, no. I'm putting no red carpet off for them. Oh, my, my bad. My bad. My yeah, I can't turn my back. Hey, hey. I can't, hey, I can't turn my back on that wreck, you hear me? Everything ain't cut out, we cut, but I just can't turn my back on it. Ooh, oh, this all love, yeah. Uh, man, I'm supposed to turn. I can't my. turn my back on that wreck, bro. You hear me? She wanted to watch what I say. You know, we ratchet down here. I can't. I, hey, I can't turn my back on that metro. I just can't. She ain't from the metro. Huh? Well, what would I like that? Oh, she outside of the city limits. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that girl from St. Gabriel. Ah, uh, but you gotta let them know you ain't got no jurisdiction. That for what? Yeah. You gotta let them know you ain't got no jurisdiction out here. Yeah, look, Joe, the Manny must throw them foes, you know. What's yeah. that, Manny? Yeah, real boss. <laughs> yeah. Man, throw, man, throw the park up, man. You tripping. Man, ain't throwing no peas over here. <laughs> Manny, throw that metro up. Tell, look, tell Manny, throw that Tell Manny, throw that up. Manny. Big ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. No. I love yeah. souls. Yeah, you love them. They love them gates. They love them bottom babies. Gates mic turned up. <laughs> Tell them gates they love them bottom babies. It's good. Good. Uh, they say come to Memphis. The oh, fire drill say, over with. Somebody say I want the Kevin Gates special. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, I know y'all been seeing, man. We've been talking about a lot of painful stuff lately, but there's a method to my madness, man. We need healing, like for real, family. And in the black community, and by black, y'all know I mean the ones with melanated skin, you know, our brothers, our sisters. We need healing in our communities, man. We've been through a lot of trauma. And a lot of stuff, man, that has left us scarred. So the only way for us to heal and get better is to put this stuff out there in the air and go to a solution. No longer worrying about the problem, but finding the solution. It's time to figure out the solution. But first, we need to pull the ones in who are experiencing this. We need to allow other young brothers to know that all across the world we are all experiencing the same pain see it's easy to take a man's life but it's a lot less easy to take his life whenever you know his story see if that person that you opting it out with if you honestly knew that he was experiencing the same pain through this traumatic life that we've been thrown into and i don't mean the life that the most high created i mean the life that the oppressor created these projects for them to study us do us like rats and make us knock each other off but claim that they freed us but the only thing they did was turn us into a human experiment I need y'all to understand that if you knew this man's story you would be less susceptible to want to beef it out with him you would be less susceptible to wanting to take his life 
if you knew who he was and what he been through and seen how similar your story actually was to his. But we got to put this stuff out there on the table, family. It's time to heal. It's time to get a solution. It's time to move forward. But hey, by move forward, I don't mean turn your back on where you came from and walk away from that situation. That's exactly what I mean. We got to go into the root, the source of the fire. That's why I put that video there with Kevin Gates. You got to stick to your roots as well. Those are the ones who need you. These young brothers, man, in the hood, they dropping like flies. They gave us everything we needed to take each other out. They messed us up with the movies, the music, the gang banging. They, they gave us everything we needed. Gave us weapons. They gave us DRUGSs. They gave us no money and no opportunity. It's, it's our time, man, to change that narrative. It's our time, man. And I feel like, you know, this all starts with the people who have a voice. I ain't got a big voice, but I feel like I got something. And if I can change one person's mindset, that'll be more than enough. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this family. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon. And all praise be to the most high. Peace and blessings, kings and queens. With that being said, I'm out. Get up, get up, get up, get up.